Hey, well, Dr. Peter Vogel, thank you for coming by our little church here at Davos. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. I, I really appreciate it, and I think it's really interesting. You're here to talk about the Swiss startup scene. Yes, correct. So you're involved in the Swiss ecosystem. Yes. Right? Tell me a little bit about that. How did that get started? So Switzerland is, as you know, a small country. Uh, it's a country of great innovation. It's mm -hmm. a country with quite few natural resources. But the biggest resource of Switzerland is human capital. It's the knowledge, it's the talent, great educational institutions, the Swiss Federal Institutes of Technology. Sure. So it's a country of great innovation, um, great R&D. We have a lot of big multinational companies with their headquarters here. So a lot of uh, human capital present in this country in a very highly condensed uh, space. So I think this is kind of the trigger of um, the whole entrepreneurial and innovation activities going on, not only from individuals that start up companies, but also from large firms that uh, want to become more innovative uh, and do some stuff within their large organizations. Now, Peter, excuse my, my ignorance here, but why would a startup come to Switzerland? Many reasons. Um, Switzerland, despite its small size, it's a very stable, it's a very um, focused, stable market. It's a market, you have four languages in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect uh, trial market for the European market. Um, Europe, as you know, has tons of different cultures, languages, mm -hmm. and Switzerland combines all that in one very highly condensed environment. So many companies use that as a trigger market. It's a market also why many multinationals come sure. here. Uh, tax efficiency, um, the cantons, the 26 cantons in Switzerland, they're in competition with one another, trying to attract individuals and companies to come here. So it's a really competitive environment also mm -hmm. from a public policy perspective. Um, you have access to financing, you have access to markets, great infrastructure, central position in Europe, um, political and economic stability. Um, so those are just a few of many reasons why you have to come here. Very good. The, the skiing's pretty good too. That's awesome. It, it, it's, it's beautiful the out there. The livability in Switzerland is amazing. Yeah, that's, that's great. So when you're looking at the startup ecosystem, um, tell me about the funding here. Is it, is it easy for a startup to get early stage or late stage capital? Um, compared to the US, probably a bit more difficult. It takes a bit longer. Um, what we see is that investors are maybe a bit more reluctant to kind of do these gut feeling investments. So sure. they're much more, that's a bit more the Swiss mentality. They do proper due diligences, which they do in the US too, but it's oftentimes more on facts than on gut feeling. Right, sure. Um, there is a lot of money evidently in Switzerland. Uh, what we see in the startup environment, we have a lot of early, early stage funding, so seed funding, and we have a lot of later stage venture capital. Um, what is quite tricky is the phase when a company really grows, when they go through the roof and they need the five to 10 million, mm -hmm. two to 10 million to really grow a global organization. That's where sure. we're struggling. Um, so I think it's very easy uh, to get early stage funding and then it becomes very difficult. Right, and you're not alone in that. I do a lot of traveling. I, I travel to a lot of different startup ecosystems all across the world and, and mainly in the States though. And that is a popular theme. There are a lot of angel investors now, a lot of people that are tired of the stock market and they want to put their money into something yep. a little more exciting. Yes. Do you guys have an active angel network here? A lot, a lot. And we have um, also business angel communities mm -hmm. so that they do co-investments. And there are tons and tons of business angels but uh, we, have, we have quite few super angels. So it's really the 50 to 250,000 that they would pitch in and maybe do co-investments. Um, we have quite a few angels that would put in the one to two million. Um, right, sure. But what is quite nice is that we have a lot of wealthy families here. They have their family offices and many of them are also active in investment in startups. Sure. Um, so out of any of these startups, which Swiss startup has do you point to as a success story? There are quite a few. Um, well, tell me a couple. Not a startup anymore. Logitech was a Swiss company in the beginning. Um, Switzerland, you might know it or not, but the, one of the core strengths of the Swiss economy is healthcare, biotech, medtech, mm -hmm. pharma. So that's kind of one of the roots of the Swiss economy. I hear there's good money in that. There's a lot of money in there. Right, and sure. we have a lot of outstanding startups uh, in that space 
of healthcare we have in the wearable devices, mm -hmm. in uh, drug development, small pharmaceutical startups. Uh, one out of EPL is, EPFL is Abionic, for example. They develop small portable allergy testing devices. They've been nominated as one of the top three startups in Switzerland over the past years. Sure. Um, so those are a few examples. Uh, Ava is a new, new company in, out of Zurich um, mm -hmm. that have, has raised quite some attention in the media recently. They're in wearable devices. Um, to, to help women detect when they can become pregnant uh, using smart wearable technology yeah, wild, and sensors. So that's, that's a big trend. And of course, there's a lot of knowledge um, in Switzerland on those things. Um, one of the older ones, but quite, quite well known globally, is Sensirion. So also sensor technology. Um, they do all, con all kinds of things. And yeah, so. Sure. There's a lot. Now, we were talking before about. Uh, about talent and yeah. human capital. I live in Michigan, and uh, we produce a lot of engineers in Michigan. We have amazing engineering schools, yeah. but everybody leaves. Not everybody. Yeah. Some people go work for General Motors, but then uh, the good chunk leave. Yeah. How are the Swiss counteracting that? Um, I think the Swiss labor market has a great absorption capacity. They okay. just suck up any talent that comes. Um, mm -hmm. Switzerland has among the lowest rates of unemployment in Europe and the world. Um, we're now talking about 3 to 4% unemployment rate wow. in Switzerland. Sure. Um, because we have all these multinational companies um, and these global companies here, they desperately look for talents, uh, very well-educated people. So sure. Switzerland is the country in Europe with the highest rate of non-Swiss residents. 25% of, of residents in Switzerland are non-Swiss. Right. Uh, Sweden is following behind that. So uh, it's really a melting pot of, of different nationalities and talents come here to work, but predominantly, so the, the, just the proportion is skewed a little bit towards the very well-educated people. So uh, talent is abundant, but talent is expensive, just like life is expensive here. Sure. That's one of the challenges for the startups as well, to afford living here. Yes, I bought a scarf and it was ninety dollars. Yeah, exactly. Well, we are in Davos. Well, if you eat a if you eat a, a, a beef a steak or something, it's fifty, sixty Swiss francs. Sure, I mean, sure. That's that's the challenge. Yes. Uh, now, last thing to close this thing out, Peter. I, I've been in Switzerland for since Saturday, so five, six days now, and I've yet to find a good beer. Good beer. Can you recommend a beer? There are plenty. Uh, Feldschlösschen is one local brewery. Uh, okay. Here you should have Kalanda. Kalanda. Yeah, that's a, that's a beer from the area. And, I'll uh, seek that out. So there are a lot of small microbreweries. If you that's go into like. the French part of Switzerland, you have tons of microbreweries. Mm. And uh, yeah. Fantastic. Well, Peter, thanks for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Well, best and of luck. Enjoy the both. Yes, thanks. Yes, thanks. <laughs> <laughs>